Hey there, I'm Woots, and in today's devlog, we're going to be going over some updates for my game, which I've officially called Toaster Defense. I'm going to be going over some visual changes, I'm going to be talking about the cutest dang toaster you've ever seen in your life, so you you got to stick around for that. It is super kawaii. And then uh, some other gameplay changes that I've made since the last devlog, which admittedly was five months ago. So, yeah. Let's get to it! W-O-O-T-S Woats Since the last devlog, the game went from looking like this to this. First thing you probably noticed right off the bat is the fresh coat of paint that's on the level. With the help of my awesome Discord community, they helped me find a nice color scheme for the kitchen. Since then, I started to populate the kitchen with props, such as pictures, pans, and some books. <laughs> How to make a hot dog by Jufi the Hot Dog Hunter. And just me. A lot of the props are interactable too, which was really important to me. I also wasn't super happy with the background, so I uh, made this little stylized uh, 2D mountain range kind of a background, and I was really happy with how that turned out. In the last devlog, I asked for fridge art, and you guys really impressed me. I was so happy to have so many submissions, I had to put them all on the fridge like a proud papa. Seriously, awesome work to everyone who participated and thank you so much for contributing to the game. I'm also very happy to show you that we finally have a tower to defend. In this case, the tower is a cute little toaster, which is why I called the game Toaster Defense. Let me do a little quick breakdown on the creation of the toaster. First, I created some random concepts of the toaster until something stuck that I liked. Then I went over to Maya for some modeling then back over to Photoshop to texture it. I exported it all over to Unity, set it up, and started adding animations. I got confused about the weird eye scrolling animation things that I was working on, so I tweeted about it and got an answer from an absolute champ. I tested out the animations, they look good. I realized that I must put an end to my creation, so I grabbed the knife. Just kidding. I'm talking about another animation, silly willy. Let's put back the knife. Then lastly, sit back and watch, knowing I did everything that I could for this little toaster. I'm not gonna go into super depth on how many things I've been tinkering with in the coding and whatnot, because we could be here for a while, but I'll finish up with the devlog, going over some of the larger gameplay changes and visual differences. Firstly, I added in two new enemies. One has a buzzsaw on its head and cannot be jumped on, and the other one is a larger enemy that is slower and has more health. The models right now are kind of placeholder models until I actually design what they should look like, but they are functioning as planned. I also made the characters a tad bit larger. I felt like the proportions were a little wonky, so I made the toaster oven bigger and adjusted all the other characters to kind of match him. Secondly, back in Devlog 4, I introduced a shooting mechanic. Well, about five months later, and it has gotten a bit of an overhaul. Originally, I had it so that if you ran out of ammo, there were two ways to get it back, either by killing enemies or in the shop. While you can still get ammo from enemy drops, I completely cut out the shop. The thought behind it was, I wanted this faster gameplay, but every time you ran out of ammo, you'd have to open the shop menu and buy ammo, which completely slowed the flow of the game. Also, if you had no coins, and no ammo, and a buzzsaw enemy showed up, you would have no way to kill it, so the game is basically over at that point. I also switched the shooting mechanic over to a more traditional shooting system. Now the player has 24 pieces of bread to shoot and can reload at any time. If the ammo is empty, it will automatically reload for you. I felt like this kept a faster gameplay and uh, you were never really in, in a difficult situation unless you got overwhelmed with enemies. I also gave the toaster oven a homing attack. If the player is in the air and an enemy is nearby, a crosshair will appear over its head. By hitting the dash button, the toaster will dash directly into the enemy. However, you need to be careful with this because you don't want to dash attack into a buzzsaw enemy because that would kill you. So you need to be vigilant with your dashes. Lastly, I went through a lot of my animations and I made them more interesting. More squash and stretch for all the characters and I'm really happy with the effect it had on the game. 
I also added in a spawn animation for the lamp and the fan, and I felt like that gave them a little bit more character, and I felt like overall it made, it made everything a lot more fun. Well, that's it for today's devlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, maybe even smash a like button, comment, whatever helps the, the algorithm gods of YouTube uh, see my face. Um, and if you want to join my Discord and you want to hang out with me a bit, I highly recommend you join my Discord. Link's going to be in the description below. Why don't you go ahead and join up? It'd be awesome. I'd love to have you there. Um, a little bit of a life update here. Uh, this room right here, this will be the last, probably the last video that we do from this room. Um, I sold my house. It's a done deal. We're moving on to the next chapter of life, so it's a little bit bittersweet. We've had, we've done a lot of videos in this room, um, so it's just time to move on to the next chapter of life. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.